Gambling? Absolutely. Legendary weapon? Unstable artifact. Legendary weapon, we have three. Gamble. Oh, quiver. Repair construct. Shit. Stop giving me- wait, don't I have this? Wait, don't I have this? No! No! <laughs> Why'd you give it to me again? No! You fiend! Hello everyone, my name is Gracie, and this is episode 11 of this Let's Play of Gordian Quest Realm Mode. We are on the fourth realm, and we are gonna hit the boss of this one in this episode. I'm pretty sure I should probably shouldn't say that in case I die. All right, so we've got a big horde encounter to do. Catherine is a little bit wounded. Actually, do I have any consumables? I've got a negative status effect potion, but that's it. Might want to look at the shop for that, see if there's anything. All right, but she can heal herself a little bit, so this is what it is. Give her a regen or something. So there's a bunch of guys, just like a bunch of guys on the field. Targets a specific cell. Okay. Targets a specific cell, specific cell, specific cell. Um, so all we have to do is move. And then they can't do anything. Double shot. Uh... I'm gonna not kill him off, because I'm sure we're gonna have an AoE or something. Yeah, there's a square attack, so let's just, uh, let's just shoot, like, I don't know, these front guys. I'm not going to spend these. I'm trying to, um, I'm just going to move around a little bit, get my SP back up. He spends a lot of SP now, like a lot. So that guy uh, is not going to die from that. Now he will. Bam, flame shield. Yeah, no one's attack. Okay, so yeah, so only Catherine has to move. What's this? Field awareness. Only in the row attacks. Oh, I don't think I've ever noticed that player characters have those symbols. So I just wanna like, well, does this give something? Supply crate for additional loot. These guys are both dead, so I guess I don't need to move after all. Uh, so let me apply regen to the two of us and start beating this crate open. Nothing to hit. Explosion, explosion. More guys coming in. When's the regen go off now, I'm guessing? Yeah, there it is. Cool, okay, 13 health. So we have Catherine, 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 specific cell. These guys are chumps, <laughs> just move out of the way or kill them all like like we did last time. Two, three. That guy gets the bonus. Next prime shot. Interesting, well, just stay there. Look at all these different different types of arrows I've loaded into my crossbow. Well, unfortunately for the enemies, Reign of Arrows is really the only card I have to attack with, so goodbye. <laughs> it's so powerful. All right, let's just dodge up. Uh, we need to get our SP up. And then three bonus draw. Yeah. We're gonna need the cards. We've got more people coming in. Oh, fire. There's no one to, whatever. I can actually reflect damage by just blocking up because the first hit won't reduce my armor. Uh, and then the second hit, like, they're going to kill themselves on me, I think. <laughs> Come and get me! <laughs> this game is really good. Oh, no! <laughs> this came in and... <laughs> they walked through the wall of fire! <laughs> 
Oh no, sorry guys. Catherine, Catherine. And one on Pierre this time. Lightweight arrow. Uh, there's a lot of... This <laughs> is a good, disgustingly powerful. What the fuck? Oh, I don't know. Just keep the rain of arrows. Nothing to do. That's an expend. I mean, none of these. I don't even need the SP, so I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna guard up, I guess. Holy force. Oh, I can't reveal a temporary healing card. I was too strong. It's okay. We'll just get a bunch of um, SP. Oh my god, you idiots. Didn't you see your friends in front of you run through a wall of fire? They didn't make it out the other side, buddy. I'm telling you. Oh, I'm trying to put on. Whoops, I clicked the wrong arrow. Uh, Catherine. Catherine. Fragile. Still Catherine. So now we can do... 24 critical draw one. I just want a, I just want a regular thing so I don't have to spend SP. But I guess I'm not getting that. Goodbye. Dodge. Dodge. Move. Pierre, now did you draw the oh the regen thing? So what if I oh he hit me back, you jerk? So this guy's gonna die from the debuffs on him, which means I can't heal because that's end of round. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. Here, explode. Bell attack damage, attack damage. Oh, that's a good ring. Common, upgrade common into a, okay. Gold and then a legendary? No, just a random thing. Grants jump slash, plus three melee attack damage. Move to the front row, deal 28 damage. If in stealth, increase the targets vulnerable by 31, 31%? That's fixed, okay, that's a strange percent. Um, plus five to initiative or a bow. Plus one range attack damage. Attached attack apply seven shock triggers once per turn. Plus three chaos resist. Do you have a bow on, my friend? Yes, and we're not taking off that. That is way too good. Uh, so I think we're just going to take plus three melee attack damage. I mean, spell attack damage. Plus one damage with attached spell. I don't have a spell in there this whole time. Firestorm. Oh, I can't put that. Uh, yeah, because it doesn't do damage. It only applies. Here, let's put a wall of fire in there. There, just one more damage, I think. Firestorm. Doesn't, whatever. It doesn't, I don't know what's going on. So I guess I'll just take this. Um bow and sell it i guess does catherine have a weapon plus two melee attack damage yeah so honestly this is worse because it gives her a skill she doesn't want even though it adds one damage so let's just take this stupid bow lame uh okay level up real quick one more point and we get another skill block let's increase a skill rank here what does this do? Oh, bonus draw for one more turn. Yeah, sure. Now I can spend less SP on drawing cards. All right, learn a skill. Uh, are there any more defense cards I could get? No, these are like very damagey. And she's really here to defend by this point. Shield block. Gain four armor. Uh, seven guard. 
immunity. So there's a chance I can get some block out of this. It's strength based, but she has some of that. Spirit healer. Discard a heal card, gain eight guard, plus five if it was rare, plus 15 if it was epic. Interesting. Discard a heal card, gain channel. Interesting. Well, let's take a holy warrior card. Yeah, just a, just a shield block, I guess. Sorry, Catherine. I know it's boring, but that's your job. Stand there and get hit by stuff. Thank you. Evocation. Let's see what we can find. Eight damage. Uh, apply deal damage equal to stored burn and then apply 25 burn and expend. Fun. So you fill them up with burn, hit them for their burn. It doesn't even use up the burn. That's pretty nice. It's only one action point. Okay, so we have this uh, cultists and some spiderlings. Cultists and spiders seem to be the bread and butter of this particular run. Maybe every run. Okay, what do we have going on here? Maul? It's pretty big damage. 15 shock, chain once. So we gotta watch out for that one. That one can't hit, these ones can't hit. Okay. Two random arrow cards. I seem to always get those those weird, like, what are those called? Um, the like prime shot things. I don't seem to get other kinds of, maybe that's specifically what an arrow card is. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I kind of always assumed like this was an arrow card, but it's actually just an attack. The arrow cards are the prime shot bonuses. So this is a, so maybe this was a weird card to bring, but I didn't, I didn't know it was only gonna do that. Draw one. Quick shot. Lightweight arrow. Next prime shot deals 15 more damage if there are two rows between you and the target. Okay. So that's... Both of these can take some extra damage from me right now, but... Does Catherine have defense? Yeah, a lot. Okay. So then we'll, we'll focus on killing off the one that we've already started damaging. It's almost dead already. So here we shield block. And then that'll be full health. And then she'll actually reflect a fair bit of damage. Cause she's got 40 block on. Good lord. 22 burn to all enemies. Or wall of fire. This is channeled. This gains a channel. So that seems like a bit of a bit of an easy option. Maybe I'll do this one, finish that guy off, and then just wall of fire the front. Three channel, one root. So that way, next time Firestorm comes up, it's free if I need it. Oh, it's actually free now. Of course, what am I thinking? 69 fire damage. Nice. Ah, okay, I didn't know if it would chain, so it does chain even if she's defended. That's unfortunate. But I don't think they're gonna get, I don't think Pierre's gonna get another turn, so I don't, hopefully he won't even take damage. What are you doing? Uh, okay. Lightweight arrow, lightweight arrow. One, two, three. Draw a card. Oh my god, okay, fine. <laughs> Why shoot one arrow when 50 do trick? Intelligence based challenge. What is with these shitty belts I keep getting? Temperance gain grants cleansing circle. Restore 5 HP when you use cleansing circle. Plus 3 guard with intelligence defense. Plus 2 maximum HP. Plus 1 int. That's really good. What is she wearing right now? Precog. Ooh, that's also good. Um, but I could take out this cleansing circle. 
put in Temperance, and now she's wearing a legendary light armor, which looks like a shitty jacket, just like a regular jacket, and it's not zipped up. Um, so that's cool. We'll use Temperance. Now I can put in... There's Fury on use. I wonder if I should be putting those on things. Probably. Stealth on use? Yeah, why am I not putting these on? So blue lets me convert things to intelligence. Can I convert this to... Oh no, because it's not blue. Fuck. <laughs> I, can never, I can never figure out how this works. So this is red, so I can might or fury when used. But I don't... So I could put this in and then give myself a might when I use it. I mean, is that does that matter? I don't know. Get out of there. Stop it. Stop asking me questions. Okay. What about you? Can you put a green skill anywhere? No. Weird. It's like these these don't do anything for me. Red. Quick draw. Attach skill grants one might on use. Hey, that's good. Plus, because then you would get more damage as, as well as critical. Okay. All right, I figured something out. New skill block just dropped. Assimilate. Remove, gain a bonus based on the card stat color and rank. Plus per rank. Max SP. These are weird. <laughs> Sorry, it's a fruit fly in my face. These I don't have a... Oh, there they are. So, like, here? God, oh, this dex is huge. Stat block. So maybe we're going to look through Holy Warrior now again. It's a tier 3 talent slot over here, though. Probably shouldn't pass that up. All right, what do we have? Lose two channel on turn start if at max HP. Lose one channel on turn start if not at, oh no, no, gain two if at max HP, hubris. Oh, plus three max channel, summoned units. Gain plus one int for every 10 levels. Lose one strength and dex for every 20 levels. Which is funny because part of my int modifier also becomes strength modifier with this skill. So if I took this, she's at plus eight, plus six. She is now at plus nine, plus six. So she's gonna gain intelligence twice as fast as she loses these two skills. But then essentially this is a free way to get points of intelligence as she gains levels. One more level, she'll gain another point of int. Okay. We'll try that one out. And then here we want evocation. Right here. Do you have friendship with people? Do I, I don't, synergy, okay. Nope, wait, no. Um, yeah, you don't have enough synergy with, hmm. Yeah, you have, oh, you can have four synergy slots. Right, this is the thing I never pay enough attention to. Oh my God, this is a lot of stuff to choose from. I should probably, ooh, I should probably look at this some other time, <laughs> not while I'm recording because, uh, that's going to take a while to, to figure out. Let's go to the market. Um, Tome of Respec. No. Supplies, maybe. Gambling, absolutely. Legendary weapon. Unstable artifact. Legendary weapon, we have three. Gamble. Oh, quiver. Repair construct. Damn it. Stop giving me. Wait, don't I have this? Wait, don't I have this? 
No! No! <laughs> Why'd you give it to me again? No! You fiend! Oh, you suck. Oh, God. Okay, here's some... Uh, bleh, the strength. 32 damage cleave. It's a melee attack. Plus two melee attack damage. Wide swing deals 13 more damage. Sweet. Oh, uh, it's cleave, too. Shit, do we want Bertram, or I'm sorry, Pierre, to have a fucking halberd? Ulfur's gauge. Summons, grants, summon spirit hawk. Uh, so we could, <laughs> we could give that to Catherine. Oh, what's this? Nero's trappings. Grants recycled trap. Plus three guard with dex. Plus one trap damage. Recover two HP. When you play a trap card, recycle trap. Choose one trap in your discard. Put it at the top of your draw pile. Expend. Well, that's great, but I don't. That's I don't need that at all. Thank you. Um. Okay, I'm gonna look at this. I'm literally gonna look. Oops. 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 Oh my god! I'm clicking every button. Okay, I'm actually gonna look into buying this. He's got the redwood wand, which gives plus one spell attack damage. But instead, he could have a halberd. <laughs> uh, Alright, what about... Fuck, I gotta stop clicking. Damn it! Okay, what about how, uh, this one? Stone hand, grants... Oh, that one gives might now, because I buffed it up. Strength, strength-based challenges, plus three to initiative. Plus one dex, that's a weird item. Uh, legendary belt grants malice trigger when your trap is triggered damn it if in stealth in seven critical and nine guard dang these are cool but not not what I need man not what I need deflect That might be a good one for Catherine. Get rid of the Caligae of the Salamander. These are rare. Alright, I'm gonna give... Oh my god, how many times am I gonna do that? I'm gonna give this man a halberd. And I'm gonna give Catherine this cruel trail. And I'm going to buy a couple of these because I'm tired of not being able to put items on. This is immunity. Now, immunity grants debuffs. Here are medium health vials. These cost 35 each. Let's buy them. Recover 2 AP. We need 90 gold. So let's sell some stuff. Neuron. We don't need that. Okay, so back to buy. Um What 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 was I buying? These guys. A couple of those. Attach skill grants three guard plus one strength rune lesser strength rune attach skills grant might Let's buy a couple of these we could put those on Pierre um. Okay So let's equip that stuff so we got four Pierre is going to wear this big ass two handed halberd. <laughs> and Catherine, we got something for Cruel Trail. There we go. So she has an extra guard in her deck now. So she's real guardy now, which is good because she reflects damage once she gets the spiked armor in there. So that's fine. And then um, we need to equip some uh, consumables here. So you need a health and an AP. Catherine, health. 
AP. Retro. Health and AP. There we go. Same color and tier. Change a rune. Interesting. Attach skill restores two HP on you. It's interesting. Okay, so I'm probably going to pause and put these runes on somewhere um, real quick. And then I'll look around through my other ones because we do have some tough stuff coming up the boss. Which I apologize, I'm not going to get to it this episode. Uh, I knew I said I would, but then I had a lot of fun shopping. And so I'm sorry I did that. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this series so far. If you have, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Come on back for the next one because if we beat this boss, we're headed to the last realm in the realm mode, uh, which would be really, really cool. And hopefully we can get all the way through this run. It's been a bit since I've managed to succeed in a run. Actually, I've been, been dying suddenly, but we're going to try. So please check out the link in my description for my Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. And I will see you in the next episode.